Yeah, and you back here with Merritt from Thermal-Medics.com back on this beautiful rooftop. Went ahead and uncorked a low side Schrader valve. I've got my gauges here, low sides in blue, high sides in red. I've got pressures on the outside of the gauge and I've got temperatures on the inside as they relate to different refrigerants. The green one's R22, which is what this unit is here. What I'm doing is the unit's off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna hook up my low side gauge and what I'm doing is just go ahead and get a static pressure reading. So I just wanna find out what's going on with the unit and make sure that the, um, it does A, has gas in it, B, has the right gas and whatnot. And how do I go about doing that? Well, I'll go ahead and hook up my low side gauge and come down here. And what do I have outside for an outside air temperature? I'm about 105 degrees. It's coming up to 110 degrees, which is on the R22 scale and about 225, 230 PSIG. That correlates to about 110, 107, somewhere in there on the R22 scale. So I know that at 105, 7, 10 degrees, I should be at about 225, 230 PSIG. And that means our R22 is in this system. It's not 410A, it's not some blend of refrigerant, some dingleberry didn't put in 410 chasing after R22 or whatever, although that happens. And the way you're gonna find out is this temperature does not correlate with that pressure. So I'd have some jacked up, you know, temperature and pressure mix on top of there. So again, I know it's R22, that looks good. My low side's hooked up and I'm at uh, 230, 225 PSIG on 105 degree down this rooftop. So we're gonna pause right there come back with the high side gauge, it should get the same, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on and take us some readings. All right.